Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Salman Masood and you are watching the Concept Academy by Idea Solution. This is part 8 of this video series and in this video we are going to learn that how to add data uh, in a new form in ASP.NET Core MVC. In the previous video we have performed all these operations. We have done pagination in the last video. We have applied search filter. I recommend you to watch please these part first then come back to this video okay let's just start it in the previous video we have performed all these things as you can see there is a grid data table okay uh, in which uh, all the columns are displayed email name and images we have uh, a sorted filter here and here the search filter if I search my uh, if I search my name then only the filtered record will be displayed okay and here's the pagination that we applied in the last video now it's time to uh, work on this button that is create new records if I click on this it shows me an error that local page cannot be found okay this is happening due to uh, not found of this page the server couldn't found the page uh, name as credit so we need to create a page uh, view that is create okay we need to stop it first and we'll come back to the controller okay now I will copy this action method and we'll paste it and name it as create okay now you guys can hear the background music has been started then please enjoy this background music <laughs> and now it's time to add a new view <laughs> it is really hard to make video with a daughter okay <laughs> and okay, let it be okay let's just start okay now what we need to do we just need to create a view okay we have created a view but uh, there is no HTML right now so we will uh, place the HTML later so we have to quote on controller first so in this video uh, we are willing to do what we will create a form in which we the form will look like this we can insert all the records like email, password, name, edit date, is login or not. And we will uh, also use this uh, file upload control. Okay. And uh, in this video, we will learn how to uh, upload file to. Okay. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we will just uh, add a action method, post method. Okay. I'm not, I'm not I'm not going to write the code I will just copy and paste and explain you okay here is the action method post this is the get request HTTP get and the next I pasted is HTTP post as you can see HTTP this post method takes two parameter the first one is TBL user object uh, which contains all the information like uh, user email user password and every field okay and this represent the image file i form file uh, so i do not have the reference of this i will press control dot okay it's get thing suggestion and it is present in using microsoft asp.net core http okay as you you can see the uh, definition of this class just go to the definition of this class you can see all the properties related to this it is built-in class provided by this namespace okay we have a content type uh, we have a content disposition header length file name so we do not have to make our own class for the file uploading it is provided built-in in the ASP.NET core okay let's just come back to this okay the first line represent I am creating a new user so I created an object and first of all I am checking whether I have uh, sent a, a file uh, image or not if I uploaded an image if I didn't upload the image 
this line of code will be executed this one does what it checks if file is null or if file length is zero so the default image will be set to no image.png which uh, i need to place in my uh, root folder that is ww root images so i will i, I already had a uh, place a image name as no image without me if any user do not uh, upload uh, his image so the default image will be set to this it will point to this image no image will be shown okay in case if user uploads any uh, image so this else condition will be run okay the first line represent is we are creating the uh, file name okay what's this it's uh, nothing new it's uh, system dot gyd new gyd dot two string uh, actually it it's this line of code represent the unique name of the file so, uh, if you have a file name as file one dot jpg and you upload it on server if any other user upload uh, the same file name file one dot jpg so you, the old file will get replaced to overcome this problem we do what we uh, write this line of code this uh, line of code uh, makes to file uh, ID, it assign you a different name or uh, you know different id which cannot be repeated so it is better to use this system dot guid new guid dot two string and it will append the extension okay and now here this line of code is making the path of the file where you want to upload the path uh, actually i also didn't have the reference so i need to add the reference system dot io okay system dot io will be added over here okay next thing next thing is what part dot combine directory dot current directory and uh, i am providing the directory name that is ww root that uh, as we discussed in the first video second video in the file folder structure that ww root contains all the static resources so images css file libraries and js uh, all these kind of files are static resources so i will place my image in static resource that is ww dot root in the w dot root we have another folder that name is uh, in my case my, i have images so i will change it images okay and uh, the next thing is the file name which i am going to place okay and the next code represent the stream it does what it will convert your file into stream and uh, write into the this folder okay okay after this line of code you have successfully uploaded the file in this folder on the server and this is what you are assigning the name that you have uploaded uh, if you upload a file suppose this gives you uh, an id that uh, abcd123.jpg so u.profile picture file name will be assigned to this the first thing you are creating okay encapsulating and the next thing is what you are uh, uh, encapsulating the object your bind sorry you are binding the data from this object okay password name username password date time now is user approved is user login user email and in the last you are doing what you are just adding the record in tbl user okay and this line is safe saving the changes and we are coming back to redirecting to the index page to show the grid okay that's all now we need to go to the view so i am going to the view and uh, for saving the time i need to copy and paste the html don't worry it's not really much complicated html i'm just copying it you can copy and paste in your project too okay control a control b but my project name is not web application 7 it's 4 and all the things will remain same okay and the one more thing i ensure you do not forget to add this attribute encrypt data die encrypt type multi-part form data if you are uploading some file from the form then you need to add this attribute on form okay. and the remaining thing are same I just added a, a file upload control. Where is the file upload control? This input file name is equal to file. Okay, and the remaining things are text boxes. Okay, now it's time to check. 
it's running or not Okay, now if I click this create new button, it redirects me to the next page, okay? And I am uploading the image for testing purpose. Okay, in download folder, I have this image. As you can see, okay, I am uploading this image, that name is download. It's JPG file. As you can see, its name is download. But uh, when I upload this, it name will get changed and it's asking me for the email. Okay. Salman at the rate gmail.com. It's not my real image or uh, real email. A is 123. And here is the calendar. Edit date. One, one. Okay, when I click this create, okay, it successfully redirects me to the index page after adding the record as, and you can see the image has been uploaded. Okay, and now it's time to check the image name on server. Okay. okay right click on the image folder and open folder and file okay now you can see here is the image which i uploaded but its name is has been changed from download to this and and when i do the same thing again upload the same file again it will change the name and uh, upload it as a new file okay that's all for this video thank you for watching Thank you. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you. Allah.